Oh, Evening, wonderful. guys. Thank you, everybody, for coming along to this exclusive screening of Die Hard uh, here on the VMAX screen where this damn movie belongs. Thank you very, very much to Event Cinemas for putting this on. Thank you, guys. My name is Dan Jensen. I do a YouTube channel, Movie Talk with Dan Jensen, doing movie reviews, that sort of thing. And this guy is Justin Hartwell. Jay the Bald Guy. I also have a YouTube review channel. And uh, feel free to uh, look that up and subscribe. Film reviews with Jay the Bald Guy. And that's Jacob. Yeah, Jacob. Please hold your applause. <laughs> Did you hear those crickets, Jeremy? <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, this is a really special experience, like I said, getting to see this movie on the big screen. Yeah, what was your first experience seeing Die Hard? Well, for mine, the first time I saw Die Hard, uh, this is probably going to get a bit depressing, revealing my age, but uh, I was, I think it was 11 years old when I saw it for the very first time, and do I need to explain to anybody what a VHS player is? Good. Okay, so pretty much I had to sneak it. Um, Basically, hit stop start while my parents were having a, pat a barbecue at the back patio. And for it, of course, it, sorry, before we go any further, has anybody not seen Die Hard? That's one? Excellent. I'm going to spoil everything in the first 30 seconds. So basically, basically, when the, uh, the first amount of bad language started to kick into the film, my mum actually thought it was me screaming at the television. So I actually had to stop the tape when she raced in through the back patio and asked what was going on, I said, nothing, it's the television. And I basically had to listen carefully for when the patio door was opening and closing so I could stop the film and then wait till they were gone and then restart it again. So I didn't actually see the whole movie that night. It was about a couple of months later when I finally did get to see it and uh, it was a game changer. kind of like her movie wing boy. Uh, so she said to me, I want to go see this movie, Die Hard. I had no idea what it was, but I thought, yeah, yeah okay, I'll go see a free movie, what the heck. So she took me along and, you know, naturally this movie is one of the greatest action movies ever made. On my channel, I recently did my top 10 favorite movies of all time and it came in at number four. Uh, so that was a really special experience for me and she's been living overseas for a number of years now. But she's actually here this weekend, so tonight, 29 years later, I get to take my sister to see Die Hard, which <laughs> really means a lot to me, and yeah, I'm really happy about that. What about you, Jacob? Die Hard. Here, yeah, have a mic. Uh, my first time was much like yours. It was about 11.30 at night. I was eight, and I was not allowed to watch that movie at all, but I snuck and somehow managed to watch it. Nice work. We were all very ingenious back then. <laughs> so, how many people have actually seen Die Hard on the big screen before? Okay, one, two, three, four. Wow, that is awesome. Okay. You're old. Yeah, oh, my sister's seen it. Wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, Sorry. Uh, this is really, really cool. I'm actually really glad that there's so many people who haven't seen it on the big screen yet because I don't care how good your home theater is or anything like that, there is nothing. That, you know, we're kind of like the warm-up band for the main event, you know, when the lights go down and everything starts happening, like, you know, it's such an exciting experience, and it's just so awesome we get to see something like this on the big screen again. And speaking of awesome, we have some trivia questions uh, for Die Hard with some prizes to give away. Absolutely. We got some double passes to the upcoming niche films and uh, some of that, so... Um, as well as Die Hard, are we all keen for the remaining three that are going to be coming up? <laughs> Goodfellas, Aliens, Point Break. Oh, I mean, my God. Point Break. Get away from her, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So That wasn't awkward. <laughs> so we're going to read questions out. Basically, whoever we see put their hand up first is going to win prizes. All right, so, guys. So there's some big prizes at stake here. So everyone focus up. All right, so what are we starting? We'll start with uh, tickets. Okay, so we've got some uh, tickets here, double passes. Let me confirm what it is. Written on the okay, I've got myself a double two point break. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what, what I said. said. Point break, you know. All right, so double pass to point break. So, John McTiernan, the director of Die Hard, was no stranger to action films. Which blockbuster had he directed prior to Die Hard? There's a gentleman over here. Production. 
Yes! Which one? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Come on. Give him a cheer. Give him a cheer. Man said Predator. You don't need to know which one it was. It was the one with Arnold in it. Yeah. You idiot. Give the man a mic. He's got to throw a Schwarzenegger impression in there. For everybody who's just arriving, we've delayed the screening solely for you. So welcome. All right. What do you reckon? Right. Double pass to good fellas. Sounds good. All right. Before his iconic role of Hans Gruber, how many American films had Alan Rickman starred in? Oh, okay. Gentlemen at the back. Yes. None. Well done. <laughs> Woo. I hope I hope uh, Dan's got his pedometer on. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully, guys, we can spread the word and uh, fill these cinemas up for the next screenings coming along, especially for Goodfellas, Aliens, Point Break. I'd love to see Point Break again on the big screen, the original, not the uh, the wonderfully. Wonderful remake, which was um, something we're not going to talk about. <laughs> All right, come on, next one. Double okay, pass to aliens. Double pass to aliens. Now, uh, this one is for those who have uh, got really good attention spans from the film. In their first meeting in the film, Hans Gruber introduces himself to John McClane under a different name. What was it? There was a gentleman, I think, in the red shirt. Red shirt. Uh, Bill yes. That's it. Well done. Okay, next up will be another pass to Goodfellas. All right. In the limo ride to Nakatomi Plaza, Argyle treats John McClane to some Christmas music. Oh, 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 well, oh hang on. Hello, okay. Uh, I'll complete the question. Which band is his jam? Oh, it's a tie now. Now his mate's put his hand up. Uh, that guy with his hand up, that was the first one. <laughs> nice. There we go. Oh, no, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> This is awesome. Okay. Then we got one more, one more double pass to Goodfellas. Yes, that's right. Okay. I want to stay there, Jacob. <laughs> have a seat, mate. Have a seat. We'll be right. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Another one for the uh, film buffs. Annoying reporter Richard Thornburg, played by William Atherton. Which '80s blockbuster did he play another annoying Watch character? Oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> Did you see this okay, before this, we... <laughs> this guy over here. Yes. Oh, beautiful! It's exciting when people are just as nerdy about films as we are. <laughs> hey, who are you calling a nerd? Definitely you. Yeah, okay, I'm wearing your Nakatomi shirt. That's how much of a nerd I am. I've been called worse things. <laughs> Alright, so the final one we got before finally we get off the stage and come back and sit down. I uh, got a... Uh, Up for grabs. Two DVD, no, two disc DVD copy of Die Hard Definitive Edition, and this is going out to whoever can tell us what the body count of the original Die Hard was. Now we're going to go like <laughs> higher, lower, that sort of thing. So take a guess. The body count is right. Okay. Eight. Higher, higher. Sorry, higher. Thirty-two. Lower. Lower. No, 35 is actually higher than 32. <laughs> we, we don't judge. Okay. We right. don't judge. Uh, Put that down in the middle. Lower? Oh. <laughs> hey, one at a time. Lottery. <laughs> Gentlemen over that side? 23. Hey! Oh, spot on! <laughs> the body count of Die Hard is at 23. Spoilers! So yeah, for those of you who uh, have been wondering, what is the body count? I got up this morning wondering what the body count of Die Hard was. There's nothing on Channel 7. What's on? Oh, what was that body count? 23. There you go. Don't say we don't educate. Now, Justin, Jacob, this has been a lot of fun. These people think we're awesome. But I think it's time we get out of here, get the movie going, because I, for one, really want to see this movie. Absolutely. A, a big thanks again to Event Cinemas Pack yeah. for putting this on. This is awesome. And I guess for the next screenings, yeah, tell your friends, we'll all fill this cinema up. That's the goal. Let's fill this VMAX up for next Absolutely. time. Absolutely. All right, Yippee-ki-yay, movie lovers. Have fun, guys. Oh, do I get to drop the mic? You're paying for it. You're paying for it. Okay, so I've seen Die Hard like a thousand times, but nothing beat what we've just saw on the VMAX screen. I've, I've said it before, that movie belongs on the big screen and I'm really, really excited 
about seeing Goodfellas on the 19th of May, followed by Aliens and Point Break. So really looking forward to seeing you guys. Make sure you come down to Pacific Fair Cinemas on the 19th of May for Goodfellas. Again, we're going to be doing trivia games and prize giveaways, that sort of thing. So we'll see you then. yippee ki movie lovers. Click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest movie reviews. Skynet will be taking over any day now, so what have you got to lose? Nyaaah!